Hello, uh, so my name is Guillermo Martin Ortiz. I'm 22 years old, Spanish, and I am currently studying the NSC Economics and Strategy for Business program. Uh, so to jump straight into the questions, why do I think I would make a great student ambassador? Um, two main reasons. Uh, the first one is my understanding of different cultures and my open-mindedness. Um, so I'm Spanish, but I was born and raised in London, and then I moved to Switzerland for seven years. Um, in that time, I went to an international school and I became very accustomed to being surrounded by people from different cultures and different nationalities. Uh, a lot of my friends were from Asia, from North America, some South American as well. And so I really got to familiarize myself with different cultures and how obviously people are very different in that sense. Uh, Imperial's student pool is very diverse. And so I think the applicants will follow suit. And I think it's very important to be able to relate to them in that sense. Um, I also did a placement year in Brussels, um, which saw like a one year internship. In that time, I worked at Toyota, which has a very strong Asian Jeff, um, organizational culture. And so again, I think it's a testament to the fact that I'm able to adapt quite quickly, but also able to relate to people quite easily. Um, the final thing, I've also traveled a lot. So that's kind of more of the same. Um, then I'm generally told that I'm quite approachable and outgoing. Um, I'm excited to meet new people and learn, but at the same time I think I have quite good listening skills, so I'm able to detect quite quickly what people's likes and dislikes are, what they might be apprehensive about, nervous about, and I think that's really important for prospective students because in a sense they're finding reasons to go, but also reasons not to go, and obviously you want to really emphasise the reasons to go because Imperial is a, a really an amazing university. Um, if I were to meet the prospective student, what would I promote about the business school and the programme? many things. Uh, the Imperial College community with a very strong alumni network is something that really has to be emphasised because it's really great. Um, the second thing would be the university reputation. It's been consistently ranked within the top 10 in the world and that's something really to celebrate. Um, the plethora of sports clubs and societies. I for one am planning on joining the Model United Nations Club and also maybe a sports club such as football and squash. And I think once I've managed to go through that process I'll be able to guide uh, prospective students uh, in the right direction in that sense. Um, also the amazing careers team, obviously uh, tailored CV and application support and regular events really make it quite easy to find new jobs. Um, and then obviously London. London's really a, a celebration of different cultures coming together and uh, despite Brexit, despite anything like that, I really think London is an amazing city that offers opportunities for everybody. So it's obviously something that needs to be emphasised. Um, and finally, tell us something interesting about yourself and your and or your achievements. Um, I'm an avid sports fan. As you can see here, I am a Real Madrid fan, quite luckily. And uh, I'm also an avid freestyle skier. It's often uh, sort of a niche sport to be into, but I think that's quite good. Kind of makes you stand out. And uh, it's kind of good to be able to relate to people on some level. Sport is obviously one of those things that brings a lot of people together. Um, I also did the London half, half Marathon last year, fundraised £477 for diabetes research, which I was very proud of. And finally, on that note, I'm also a type 1 diabetic. And while I don't find it to be a determining factor of my characteristic, I also think that it's also quite good to uh, reassure students that they really do have a very strong support network here at Imperial. I've already been to the disability services and I know how that is. Um, so that's me in a nutshell. Um, I hope that this application uh, does obviously succeed um, and I hope to meet you all very soon. If not, thank you for listening to me ramble on and uh, I look forward to your decision. Thank you.